Okay guys, welcome to a second video tour for Wii Sports Resort from WeFolder.com. My name is Josh Thomas. We're going to be taking a look at three more of these sports or activities in the game. If you missed the first video tour, be sure to check that out if you want to see some more. Uh, the game comes out July 26th, 2009 in North America and July 24th in Europe. So get ready guys, because it's a lot of fun. I'm sure you guys are going to pick it up. Alright, let's not waste any more time. Let's jump in and uh, check out some of the fun activities on Woohoo Island. Alright, so we're going to play a little disc dog here. It's essentially uh, like playing frisbee with a cute little me puppy, as you can see. We point at the screen, he gets all happy. Uh, what we're going to do is we're going to grab the frisbee from him by pressing the B trigger on the Wii Remote. And now the goal of this is to try and throw the frisbee in the target area over there. You can see there's a little arrow bouncing around with uh, our little puppy's face on it. And we want to get him to go chase after the frisbee in that general direction. So as you can see, very impressive. Total one-to-one -one movement here of our frisbee. I'm never going to get tired of that. All right, so here we go. Well, some more playing around real quick. All right, we're ready. So uh, to, fro to throw the frisbee, you don't press any buttons. You don't let go of any buttons. You just throw it. So here we go. Oh, that was a pretty good throw. Uh, now you'll see once it gets to land and he catches it, the target will appear. So how many points do we get there? We got, I believe that's 50 points. Uh, the pink is 100 points. Orange is 50, and the aqua colored area would be 10. So he's bringing it back to us. We're going to do this 10 times. Uh, so let's go ahead and get started. Let's get busy. Go get it, puppy. Oh, come on. That's going to be 100. Get it. Nice. So when you get it in the 100 area, your little puppy gets uh, a little bit more excited, which is always adorable to see. Let's grab it from him. Here we go. Now you'll notice the little icon that we have to throw it uh, is moving around this whole course. So it does get a little bit more tricky. Twisting your wrist, uh, the, oh, that was not the greatest throw. So twisting your wrist obviously changes the direction. Uh, I think the best way to play this one is really don't try to play a game here. Just try to pretend like you're literally throwing a Frisbee. You know, I think that's kind of the, the best lesson I've learned while playing this. Don't pretend like you're playing a game. Just pretend like you're playing some real Frisbee here. So I got 50 points there. We got one more throw, and then something different is going to happen in the game. We'll see that in just a second. So let's try to, I'm going to try to arc it back. I'm going to fail miserably. Yeah, <laughs> so I was going to try to arc it back to uh, sway the other way, but that didn't work out. My puppy's not too excited. Okay, so now that we've done five throws, it's kind of like the halftime, and uh, they're going to switch it up here, and these giant 50-point balloons are going to fall into play, and if I throw the Frisbee and pop that, I'd get those 50 points. So it uh, becomes pretty essential to try and do that. All right, that was pretty good. I'm good at doing that, not so good at getting it in the target area. But that was 50, so that was 100 points for that one. All right, <laughs> of course your, your me buddies are in the background cheering you on. Let's try this. Oh, so this one, as you can see, I do have to try and get it to come back around, but I didn't do that very well. Again, the target is, of course, moving around. So this one you can play with up to four people. You guys would switch off and take turns. I have three more throws. Let's go ahead and do this puppy. Oh, that was terrible. That was not good at all. I keep throwing in that right area. So I'm still warming up to the Frisbee, by the way. This is one of my weaker events. All right, let's do this. Oh, this one's going to be pretty easy to hit the 50. <laughs> I would jinx myself like that. All right, but I think I got 50 there, so that makes up for it. All right, what do we got? One more or two more throws? One more throw. All right, let's make it good, puppy. I love how he's wagging his little tail. It's pretty adorable. Oh, I missed the 50. Ever since I said I was good at that, I'm not anymore, so... Alright, so that's an overall look at this dog. It's really fun, the little puppy's adorable, but at the same time, that's one that you can really become uh, very skilled at if you keep playing it again and again. So I got a total of 460 points. I had three total misses. That's not the ideal way to play it, but that's a really fun one, so I uh, hope you guys enjoyed checking that one out. All right, so we're going to try out some of the sword combat here in Wii Sports Resort. I think this is arguably one of the more popular activities in the game, mainly because it has, you know, the whole one-to-one -one sword combat and um, you get to beat the crap out of Mii's that represent your friends and your family. It's all nice and legal in this, so it's always a plus. Now, this is like an on-rails sword fighting game where the uh, your Mii is going to move automatically 
and all you have to focus on is swinging around and beating the crap out of all the meanies. Now you'll notice a lot of these guys go out in just one punch, or I should say one slice. But uh, there are some that are more powerful later on. Oh, there we go. So they, they attack in swarms, that's the way of the me. So more are coming this way. Yep, there we go. Bottom left corner, you can see I have three hearts. That basically means I can get hit three times before it's game over. Now this woman here, if I can get around to her, she has uh, armor on, and she also has two hits. She can take two hits and then she's down. That was her second hit. They're beginning to block now. They're getting a little bit more smarter. So I have to press and hold the B trigger to block myself. I kind of go into a parry stance, as you can see. And you do have to angle it right, so if they strike, you know, on my, if they strike forward, I want to hold it like this. If they strike from the side, I want to hold it like this. And she's gone. I'm sick of looking at her. There we go. So the more of these that you play, there's actually a total of 10 levels. They get more difficult, a lot more difficult, trust me. And uh, they get more long, and they get longer as well. This one's a pretty short one. Here we go. Come on. Make your move. All right, I will. Whoa! So if you attack and, uh... And you knock them out, there we go. They, you got your time to kind of take advantage of that, which I didn't, I lost. So I'm not so great at this as you can see, but that's an overall look at it anyways. Uh, I get, oh, I got the 94%, that means those were the only two left, I think. But yeah, those get pretty difficult. I believe that was actually the second level. So Sword of Combat definitely tires you out. There's two other versions of this. You can uh, duel against another opponent on a platform and you try to knock each other off, that's really fun. And then the other one is uh, you have to slice in certain directions to uh, chop up objects. That's for two people. I believe all the sword fighting is for one to two people, so it's, uh, it gets pretty intense. Okay, so we're going to try out a little ping pong here. And uh, it's pretty cool because it's not really like we plays ping pong if you played that. We're going to really quickly calibrate by pointing and pressing A. No big deal. So the difference between this and we play uh, ping pong is pretty much night and day. As you can see, you're literally swinging to hit the ping pong. Uh, you can play this with one or two people versus each other, and you can also play this game with up to four people. You would take turns and try to be the person with the high score. Uh, the goal of this is it's kind of like a little additional mini game where you have to continue to rally. As you can see, this guy is sending ping pong ball after ping pong ball at me, and every time I hit it, it counts as a rally. So you're kind of going for your high score here. Now, the little uh, additional aspect of gameplay is I want to try to aim for those cans as they appear on the stage. The table, I should say. And when I, do the, when I do that, when I hit a can, it gives me plus three. So, you know, the great part about this ping pong game, of course, is that it has Wii Motion Plus and you have that one-to-one -one, uh, perfection. And so with that, you can add a lot of spin to your shots, which is what you really actually have to do to try and hit those cans. See, this one is all the way to the left. That's really hard for me to hit. I'm still trying to get that. Come on, there we go. So yeah, adding spin is, is one of the main differences you're gonna notice while playing this. Ooh, I think I'm going for a high score. So as you can see, the longer you keep that up, he's gonna start going faster and faster. Uh, he starts bouncing them, starts uh, you know, adding spin to them. So it gets pretty tricky. So I got to 51, that's not bad. So yeah, ping pong in Wii Sports Resort is very accurate. It's very fun to play. You can play it one versus one, or you can play that game right there, which is kind of like a little mini game challenge. It's, it's pretty fun. All right guys, that wraps up another video tour for Wii Sports Resort. The game is awesome, as you can see. Be sure to check it out when it comes out in your area. For WeeFolder.com, this is Josh Thomas. I'll see you guys next time.